Care to give us a cut, little burst of it now? No, 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 not now, not now. Considering we've known Shannon for such a long time, well, I have personally, it hasn't been too hard of a transition. Uh, they both have the same sort of philosophy of playing. They're both very good at getting into players if they need to, or being on the more personal side. But I think it hasn't been too tough, uh, considering we know what he wants from us. We know what we need to give him. And it's just that a good balance, I think. So I think it hasn't been much of a, of a hard transition. Um, I mean, I think it's just kind of staying as a team and um, we've created a really good environment now in the 21s where all the boys get along really, really well um, and we just work really hard every day because <coughs> we you know, want to get better. I think we're quite a big group, um, so we all really push each other. Um, even the ones that might not be playing or on the bench, you know, are there every day pushing the ones that might be playing and it's just a really you know, good environment to be in. Um, and yeah, Shan's been driving that since Crofty's left and it was the same with Crofty when Crofty was there. But yeah, just trying to keep that top environment. Yeah, there's always, there's always people uh, below us that are trying to push into our team. Uh, we're, we're fully aware of that and that's what we like, that's what makes us get, that's what makes us get better, that's what makes us push on um, and that's what makes training good as well. I mean, everyone's fighting for for places, so it's, it's a really good environment, a really good environment we're in at the minute. Um, I think just, you know, it's a really good learning experience um, when, you know, you look at all the professionals, you know, and how they, how they are day to day, how they train, um, you know, it's really good just to take things away and, um, you know, see what they do and just take little tips, even, you know, speaking to them, hearing stories about um, you know, what it's like to play at the top level that they play at. Um, yeah, it's a really good insight into because, you know, where we want to be and, you know, the next step for us. And, yeah, it's good learning. For me personally, to be robust, to get as many games under my belt as possible. Um, it's, been, it's been tough, but that's what I need to, to do, get more robust, more games on my belt. And, and hopefully try to get some more first team experience, uh, whether that be here or elsewhere in January, if you're a possible loan, you never know. But I think it's, it's that next first team experience um, that, I, that I would need. Yeah, I think, um, <clears throat> as Antif said, it's just you know, trying to keep playing games, trying to improve. You just have to put your head down and work really hard. And I think you know, we're at such a great club that I think those things will happen um, and you know, those opportunities will come. You just have to be ready for them. So. Um, yeah, you can take things away by when you're being here, learn and take opportunities when they come and yeah, that'll be the next step. So, so good and yeah, really proud to be Australian, um, you know, when you see things like that um, and, you know, to get, I think, you know, everyone before the tournament said that Australia had no chance to get out the group or well, almost top the group, the same points as France came second, um, so really good achievement and then I think they were you know, had a really good performance against Argentina in the round of 16, so I think they should be really proud and, yeah, proud to be Australian. I mean, that's obviously a goal that you have and something I've, you know, I'm going to be working towards, um, you know, and they'll be at, at club level and just, you know, working hard every day, doing the things right and, you know, hopefully I'll get an opportunity. I mean, it's obviously, it's obviously difficult not seeing your family and you know, mates that you grow up, but for me, it was always a dream to come to England and um, come to Europe to play football, so I kind of knew that that was always going to be something I had to deal with. Um, so I don't really see it as like a challenge or that much, you know, but yeah, it's, it's, I, I want to be here um, for the football, um, so yeah, I'm happy to be here. I mean, I, me personally, I don't think I've done well. I've got a couple, a couple... Uh... Care to give us a cut, little burst of it now? No, 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 not now, not now. I think for something like that, it's keep it there and then it's done. We don't have to the talk about thing. it again. But... Worst tradition in football, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's so bad. Cool. It's very bad. I haven't done mine yet. So I... got a song in mind? Or... Yeah, I've got, got a few, but we'll see when it comes up. But yeah, it's, it's, it's awful. It's, I think for me, it's... 
the build up. Yeah, the building up, the lead up to it. You know, you have to. Yeah. Like getting ready for a game. Oh, it is. It, 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 it actually is. was it saying actually that is. before. It actually is. I prefer 100% to play a game. <laughs> <laughs> to do once it's done. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. But I, I think the first team here make it so much more easy. Like uh, just little comments, like making jokes or stuff like that. It just eases you into it. And once everyone starts maybe clapping or you see everyone smiling and enjoying it, then it's uh, that's the main thing.